Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Sunday. Coming at you with 2021 Panini Phoenix Football. Eight box, half case, pick your team number four. Uh, this is the second half of the case. We do have some more Phoenix, so the next one will be from a fresh case. Uh, I think the same discount still applies, so take advantage of that uh, while that lasts. All cards ship. A um, lot of great stuff in here, so let's dive into it. So big thanks to this group here for getting in on this second half. Appreciate it. Here on Sunday, the 24th, 2022. It's a hot one here in Los Angeles. At least, at least for the for the seaside, it's usually a little bit cooler. But we're in the, we're in like mid 80s right now. All right, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Got a little sunburn, ladies and gentlemen. Was uh, at the was at the uh, LPGA. The LPGA was here in Los Angeles at the Wilshire Country Club, which is supposed to be a nice place. I've never been, so this was a good excuse to go and then check out some of the top golfers in the LPGA. So it was pretty fun to just kind of wander around the course and check things out. And it was kind of a cool day yesterday, so I didn't really. I kind of forgot about the sunscreen. <laughs> it happens. All right, first box. Good luck. Let's go. Got Quincy Roche to 250. Fireforge Dan Marino. And our first uh, relic and autograph is rising rookie Travis Etienne. Look at that. There's look at that cool uh, Wilson W right there. Ten out of seventy-five, and that will be for the Jags. That's gonna be for for Michael T and the Jacksonville Jaguars. Nice, good start. Is that for you? That's Mike Sports Trade. There you go, Mike. Good start. Adjust the mic a little bit here. Good, good, good. Yeah, it, it was. I but I think our the, it's just a mini heat wave though. I think we're really only going to get a couple days of of, uh, of hot weather. Then it'll be back to at least along the coast. It'll be back to sort of the cooler weather here. We got flamethrowers, Kirk Cousins to 149 for the Vikings, and Racy McMath to 25 for the Titans. That'll be for Jerry. There's Najee Harris to 150. And then we got Aaron Jones. Uh, what is it? Veteran Materials, that's the name. Veteran Materials Relic going to Green Bay. That'll be for Hans. 82 out of 99. Najee Harris for the Steelers, of course. And we got a rookie rising, Trevor Lawrence, silver. That insert going to Mike. Got a Tom Brady gold hiding back here. Three out of 75. Got some hot routes. Robbie Anderson to 75 for the Jets. Got Vaughn Miller to 150. And speaking of heat waves, there's a heat wave Mac Jones. Von Miller Broncos edition going to uh, Patrick and a redemption. Any guesses on the redemption for bragging rights? Who have the redemptions been? There's Eric Stokes to 199. Justin Herbert to 25 and a Jamar Chase as well. Not numbered. A lot of parallels. The 
Mac Jones, regular rookie card going to Dusty and the Patriots. That's a good guess, Oliver. Oliver guessing 2 2 Atwell, a uh, notorious non signer. All right, good luck. Well, Phoenix football. Rookie autographs pink. We've got a parallel here. And it's letter P. Pat, Pat, Pat Fryer? No, Patrick Sertain. Uh, Patrick Sertain, I believe, is a Bronco. Yeah, a Denver Broncos. That goes to my rivals. Uh, Patrick Sertain going to Patrick Davis. A uh, Patrick for Patrick. Pretty good year. All right, uh, onwards. Next box. That was just box one. Box two of eight. Pick your team for first break of the Sunday. Thanks for spending a bit of your Sunday with us, boys and girls. I know there's a lot, a lot of sports going on, um, but I appreciate you spending a little bit of screen time with us as well. And we can always two screen it, just like just like I am. I've got a. Uh, Looks like TNT is wrapping up their NHL coverage. And we got two NBA playoff games back to back. The Dodgers game's wrapping up, so they, they're winning comfortably. Talladega just finished up. Ross Chastain won that one. So I, think, I think basketball through the evening. But we do have a fun football week coming up with the draft. Is everyone excited about the NFL draft? If I, if I had planned ahead better, I think I would have tried to go to Vegas to see the draft. My guess slash hope is that we'll cycle back around to Las Vegas at some point. All right, box two. We got Darren Waller to 199. We got a die cut. Saquon Barkley, that's pretty cool. Phoenician Saquon Barkley. Kind of going with a Egyptology kind of theme here. All right, Calvin Ridley to two fifty. There are a lot of parallels here. I'm gonna actually just set those aside and have our our shipping team sort those out just in the interest of time. There's Michael Strachan to fifty. Got flamethrowers, Peyton Manning to 75, Broncos edition. We got Rashad Bateman to 150 for Baltimore. And Tillon Wallace is your jersey and autograph. I like this clean Phoenix design. I'm a fan of this, Phoenix. We got more in the store, so check it out, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Patrick with the Baltimore Ravens. Be more. 173 out of 299. And you got a Baron Browning to 250. And we got a Justin Fields autograph. Nice rookie auto for Marcus and Da Bears. Got a new coaching staff out there. So hopefully that'll. Uh, I'll turn things around for, for uh, Justin Fields. And the Bears. Cooper Cup to 99 for the Rams. And there's Shaq Barrett, Shaquille Barrett, piece of his jersey. That's uh, to 99. Buccaneers, Marcus with Tampa Bay. He's heating up. There's a heat wave rookie insert. Trey Lance, nice. That'll be for the Niners. That's going to go to Dusty. There's two out of 125 for Miami. 
that's to uh, that's to ship my card to a certain number, anonymous. There's Kyler Murray to ninety nine. Onwards. What's everyone's uh? If you're if you're watching, hearing the sound of my voice, what's everyone's NFL team? What do you hope they do in the draft? In a sentence or two, what are you hoping? The Raiders, because of Devontae Adams, I don't think they're picking until this. For a couple days, I think. No first rounders for them. But offensive line, I think uh, maybe safeties are sort of a big issue for the Raiders. I think they could use some depth there. Maybe uh, maybe like a, a developmental young receiver or something like that, just, just for depth as well. But offensive line might be a huge thing. And then after the draft, I think there's I think some other, some cap situations I think release on like early June. So there might be another wave of free agents that might be, that might end up going elsewhere. Oliver's a Steelers fan. Ooh. Oliver wants uh, Malik Willis or O-line. It'd be interesting, a little Malik Willis. Now, I don't, I'm not too familiar with the, uh, well, with college football in general, but what's the read on Malik Willis? Is he like, he could, is he gonna be able to compete for a starting job this season? Or is it more like he's gonna have to marinate for a couple seasons before, before uh, something happens? There's Rashad Bateman to 125. And we've got Jamar Chase, piece of his jersey, for the Bengals. That's for Marcus in Cincinnati. One ninety to one ninety nine. So Malik would marinate behind Trubisky for a bit. So Trubisky, more of a placeholder, if you will. There's Taysom Hill to one fifty. Might get some starts early on. There's Drew Brees to ninety nine, the broadcaster for the Saints. Not a Saints broadcaster, but. That card is for the Saints. Mike is a Dallas Cowboys fan. He's just hoping they can just get their thumbs out of their butts and uh, and just and win something someday. Oh. We'll randomize that to one person in the break. Winner take all of the points. It's Carson Wentz to 99 and another rookie rising, Trevor Lawrence. Well, what, what are the Cowboys' needs? What do they need to do? I guess just just replenish, replenish the squad. I guess just normal, just regular draft, best available kind of situation. It's Josh Allen to one twenty five for the Bills. Greg Rousseau for the Bills to one fifty. Zach Wilson will go to Dusty and the Jets. Heather is a Vikings fan. Defense, yeah, shore up that defense. Mike is saying Willis is the most ready, but all the Quarterbacks drafted will probably have to marinate a little bit. There's Nico Collins for the Texans, jersey and autograph for Anthony and Houston. Mike is thinking Cowboys need a need an offensive line, a wide receiver three, D line. Yeah, I feel like the Cowboys are all. There's Ezekiel Elliott right here. I'm not sure if they should have paid him the money that they did. I think that kind of handcuffed him a little bit. The Dak Prescott injury didn't help. Obviously, there's Tannehill to 149 and Brady for the Bucks. But I feel like on paper they always seem like oh, you know, they they could look pretty good. That press guy right there, but then uh, but when, when game time happens, you know, there's always something, always something. But it's not like that division is. The division could be got. Any 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 team there could win that division. NFC East. I don't know if there's. Is there any other? Uh, News happening in the NFL. I guess Browns and Denzel Ward are finalizing an extension. Texans extending Brandon Cooks. 
Frank Gore to officially retire. I guess that, that was maybe a little bit ago. Dave, is Avian Howard agreeing on a new contract? That might have been a little while ago. Let's go to ESPN. What are they saying there? Bucks restructure Brady deal frees up $9 million. NFL playing three games on Christmas for the first time. Speaking of the Cowboys, healthier. Prescott, quote, excited to hit the ground running. Wow. Giants receiver Kadarius Tony could be available already. Chiefs are, quote, not in rebuilding mode despite key losses. Who wants Earl Thomas? He's been out of the NFL for a couple seasons seeking a return to the NFL. Face Brady. And we got Elijah Moore, 14 out of 25. Dual relic and autograph. That's a nice looking card for Dusty. And the J E T S Jets, Jets, Jets. And Oliver is also mentioning, sadly, Steelers probably need another QB just for depth. Matt Ryan to 50. DK Metcalf to 75 for the Seahawks. Where does uh, where does Baker Mayfield go? Does anyone have any thoughts on that? It seems like the Seattle Seahawks would be the best fit, but I guess the Seahawks kind of have leverage knowing that the Browns, knowing, knowing that Baker wants out of the Browns for obvious reasons. Deshaun Watson being there now. Diami Brown, relic, for Kurt and Washington. 51 out of 99. Sam's thinking Steelers for Baker Mayfield. There he is. I mean, if I'm Baker Mayfield, I would love that. You can see the Browns twice a year. Two revenge games. There's Aziz Ojolari to 199. Justin Herbert to 99. JJ Watt to 250. Oliver says no. Oliver Oliver's a Steelers fan. Doesn't want. Does not want Baker Mayfield. Why not? There's Tillon Wallace. Is Mal Malik Willis bigger upside than Baker? Maybe. We know Baker can play now, though. That Ravens autograph goes to Patrick. There's Ezekiel Elliott to 199 for the Cowboys. Joe Montana flamethrower to 199. Fitzpatrick parallel. And we got a Chauncey Golson to 250. And a heat wave, Justin Herbert. All right, we got, we're halfway through this half case break. Four more boxes to go. Right, Sam is a Steelers fan as well. So, so Steelers fans in our chat split. Oliver says uh, you don't need an inaccurate quarterback who's barely six feet tall. We, Steelers want inaccurate quarterbacks who are uh, Trubisky type. Odell is so much better in LA, so to me, it shows that Baker couldn't do much with the tools that he had. Interesting. I don't know how much did that shoulder issue. How much did that shoulder issue bother him though? I think he kind of grinded through that. Someone's got to give him a shot. I mean, how many years does he have left on his deal? Two maybe? Are you saying telling me that a someone doesn't want to take a couple couple year flyer? I 
I mean, Baker Mayfield is, uh, oh, 2022 is his last year of his deal, this season, upcoming season. Give that, give him a flyer. Here, here's Kellen Mond, one of one. Ooh, nice. Little NFL shield. Might be from a laundry tag. And his autograph. Minnesota Vikings, Alec with Minnesota. Congrats. One of one, out of fives and under. Get the train whistle. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. Nice. And we got Julio Jones, hot routes. Joseph Osai to 199. Jerry Rice turned around here. Yeah, all, both Oliver and Steven saying, pretty sure that's the third one of one from this case. Looks like the stuff is loaded, ladies and gentlemen. There's Mahomes to 199. So, more in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com. There's out of 75, Devontae Adams. Mike Kosicki to 125. Larry Roundtree, autograph for the Chargers. That's going to go to Patrick. Yeah, I guess you're right, Oliver. Yeah, the, the Steelers took that took the flyer on Trubisky, so someone's going to have to else has going to have to take a flyer on on Baker Mayfield. Just I guess it wouldn't make sense to bring those, both of those guys in. It's Jalen Hurts to fifty. Got Brady flamethrowers. Hot routes, Keenan Allen to 175 for the Bolts. Jalen Waddle to 125 for the Dolphins. That's a catch. Mr. Mar Jefferson to 250. And there's Pat Fryerman, speaking of the Steelers. Big piece of his jersey going to uh, Michael. Michael Gallucci and his Pittsburgh Steelers. Mike, Michael is a Steelers fan, too. I wonder what he thinks about the QB situation out there. There's Juju Smith-Schuster and Chase Young to 75, Patrick Mahomes, heat wave. All right, three boxes to go. we got here so yeah Baker Mayfield it's one more year left and he's getting paid a lot but 2022 is his last year Man. I don't know. Brown if they didn't if they didn't um, I guess if they didn't trigger Baker Mayfield's fifth-year option, it might have been easier for them to, but I guess maybe they kind of had to. It might have been easier to, to move the guy. Have someone else trigger that option. I don't know. Quarterback carousel. All right, next box. Good luck. Got Mike Kosicki to 25. And Diami Brown, two out of five. Autograph, that's a train whistle for Dusty and the Washington Commanders. Nice, Dusty. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. Amir Smith Marset to 250. There's Baker Mayfield again. And there is a heat wave, Mac Jones to 199. 
Nice one for the Patriots. That's for Dusty. There's Ayik as well. What happens with Ayik's teammate, Debo Samuel? Where does he end up? There's Miles Sanders, 75. 40 out of 99, Rashad Bateman. Dual, Relic, and Autograph. That's for Patrick and the Purple Birds. Adam's a Browns fan. Bye, Felicia, he says. What do you... You got to try to get something back for him, though, right? Where does he go? J.C. Horn to 150. Trey Lance, rookie rising to 99 for the Niners. There's Ramondre Stevenson to 199. All these cards being flipped around kind of trips me up. I'm thinking they're all going to be hits. This is a hit, though. It's a relic, Pat Fryermuth, another piece of his jersey going to Pittsburgh. Michael. Go to the Seahawks for picks and, and DK Metcalf? I don't know. I don't know if the Seahawks are gonna like that deal. It's, any Seahawks fans in here? Do they do they want do they even want Baker Mayfield over there? Tom Brady Patriots edition silver. If they do, I don't know if they want to give up DK Metcalf though. Baker's got to have someone to throw to, right? As Oliver was saying, if he's a under six foot inaccurate quarterback, he's gonna need a big target like a uh, need a big target like. Like DK Metcalf. All right, second to last box. Good luck, everyone. Adam, as a Browns fan, Oliver was asking how he felt about Deshaun Watson. He says, hey, I think he's the best QB the Browns have ever had. That pickup will take us to the playoffs for sure this year, maybe the next three years at least. Now, what, what are the Browns going to do? What are the Browns going to do in the draft? What, what do they got? What do they have planned? There's Aaron Rodgers, flamethrower, silver. And another Steeler, 74 out of 99. Piece of Najee Harris's jersey. It's Jalen Waddell to 150. Flamethrower is Derek Carr to 175. That's going to be a fun season. Fun season for him, I hope. Joe Namath to 199 for the Jets. So they have a third round pick. Pretty sure Adam's saying they're looking for a wide receiver to, to play alongside uh, Mari Cooper. Here's some gridiron greats. That's Fred Taylor. Jaguars edition going to Mike. It's pretty cool. If his knees did not betray his body, I mean, could have been one of the greats. Ryan Tannehill to 250. It's Daniel Jones to 199. Got some cracked ice. Mike Kosicki to 50. Flamethrower Brady Silver for the Bucks.
curious to see how they handle the suspension. I have a feeling it's six games at most due to him sitting last year. Adam, you don't think there's going to be a suspension? Oh, there's definitely going to be a suspension. There's Des Fitzpatrick, 40 out of 299. I feel like I feel like players have have been suspended for less. There's Mike Kosicki to 125. There's Travis Kelsey to 50. There's Richie Grant to 199. Yeah, I don't think I don't think court doesn't matter what what the NFL does for their punishment. You know, so he's going to get something. All right, final box, ladies and gentlemen, final box. GS, what's up? How are you? Do they count printing plates as autos in Phoenix? I actually don't know if there's autograph printing plates in this. But uh, you can go to cardboardconnection.com. They have a full checklist. They'll, they'll be able to let you know. Although I don't, traditionally I don't I don't remember uh, printing plates being in Phoenix. <laughs> oh boy, Oliver, that's a can of worms that I don't want to get into. <laughs> Six out of ten, Dalvin Cook. And we got a Osa Odigizua. GS pulled a Tyreek Hill printing plate earlier, but only one auto in the box. Well, the box does say on average, so sometimes Panini will get you with that. But no, traditionally, I don't think if you did pull a printing plate, I don't think that's going to, uh, I don't think that replaces an auto, no. There's Justin Jefferson to 99, Zach Wilson, rookie rising silver, Trevor Lawrence to 199, Heat Wave, that'll be for Michael and the Jaguars. Tillon Wallace to 99, to 199 that is. And a Trevor Lawrence autograph. Jersey and auto, rookie jersey and auto, Trevor Lawrence, T-Law. And that's for Michael and the Jacksonville Jaguars. One out of 25, the first one ever made. There you go. Nice finish to uh, this break. There's Joe Namath to 150. Let's see what else we have here. Out of 50, Randy Moss. Got a Mac Jones, a Cooper Cup to 199. A Fletcher Cox, 32 out of 99. A veteran materials relic for the Eagles. That'll be for Ethan and the Fly Eagles Fly. Uh, Brandon Ayuk to 250. And there's Jerry Rice to 175. Rondale Moore at the end. There you go, gang. Pretty nice break of uh, Phoenix football. I'm going to do a quick quick uh, recap after I randomize those points to somebody.
So let's go back to the list right over there. There we go. Hello, list. Let's grab everybody's names from 1 to 32. There's some new dice, new list. And the name on top will get 400 points after 3 and a 5, 8 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then three times, six, seven, eight. Six, seven, and good luck. Eighth and final time. Name on top, gets a little consolation prize and points. And that's gonna be Patrick Davis. Nice break for you, Patrick. All right, and a quick little recap, ladies and gentlemen. Not a bad break. We've got more Phoenix in the store. Check it out, ladies and gentlemen. There's the Fred Taylor. Dami Brown, Roundtree, Wallace, Elijah Moore, Patrick Sertain Redemption, Travis Etienne, cool piece of the pigskin. There's a Justin Fields, a one of one Callan Mond, and of course the Trevor Lawrence. One out of 25. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. A nice break of Phoenix football in the books. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Let's do some more Phoenix tonight. We'll see you for that. Bye-bye.